coming right there. This week we're going to have a bunch of fun tearing shit up with my favorite blaster, the Barrett Fitty. But before we do, let's give a big shout out to this week's sponsor. All right guys, you need to check out Sonoran Desert Institute. They're, they're dark clouds on the horizon, everybody knows that. Uh, so it's important that you prepare, part of that is education. So SCI is an accredited online school, but they focus on courses relevant to firearms, right? So you can get that associate's degree, okay. Um, but you can also get certificates in firearm technology. So in other words, certifications to do stuff. Because you go to a college and getting a uh, degree in basket weaving and $300,000 of college debt, that's not helping you. You go out and get a certification as an electrician, you can immediately step into a job. Well, how about us that we want to get into firearms? But how about like, uh, well, we just want to learn a little bit of extra skills. I want to increase my knowledge on certain subjects. That's what SDI is all about, right? So you can get armor skills, armor skills. Uh, but if you wanna get in like shooting sports management, you wanna do stock checkering, you wanna kydex forming for making holsters, any kind of customizing of guns at all, that's SDI, that's their strong point. So federal student aid, all the other funding sources, all of that. So literally, if you just got out of Marine Corps, let's say you wanna use that GI Bill to make yourself a better person to prepare for those dark clouds on the horizon, anything like that, maybe you're just a concerned citizen, you wanna get a little more knowledge, you guys can check out all their courses at sdi.edu. Go check them out. Uh, you guys know I love the Barrett 50 Cal. Um, I was, uh, those of you new to our channel, I was a, I am a retired Green Beret. I'm a fag, I'm a former action guy, right? But uh, most of my time was spent behind the SR-25 semi-auto sniper rifle supporting the assault force hitting targets. That's my background. But one of the other tools in my toolbox was the, uh, the M82A1, a uh, larger previous version of this one. This is actually a Barrett M107A1. It's got the sexier, shorter barrel with the suppressor, sexy, sexy gun. I love this gun. This is my favorite blaster on the planet. Don't get me wrong, most of my combat time was behind the SR-25, but if you ever 100% had to get evil on the bad guys and tear stuff up and you didn't know what they were bringing to the fight, this was a great tool to have in your toolbox. Um, and we've done other videos about this sexy machine right here. If you want to see them, you can check them out in our video archive. Tonight, though, today, I want to talk about some of the different ammo for it. Specifically, we're going to get into shooting armor pissing incinerate. So uh, the usual ammo you guys have heard me talk about, um, almost all my time in the military soft, we would shoot Rafis Mod Zero. Um, made, in, uh, made overseas, they are armor piercing incinerate. They actually have pet and explosive in them. Totally badass rounds. Uh, but they were also $77 a round, and that was back in 2003. I can't imagine what the taxpayers are paying now. Thank you, by the way, taxpayers. Most of the rest of the military, though, they didn't get to play with that. A lot of the uh, your Marine and Army units, all they got to do was delink actual uh, 50 cal belted machine gun ammo for the Ma Deuce. So they're shooting your regular ball ammo and then the tracer ammo. Good ammo, not as accurate as Rafa's ammo, but still decent ammo. Now when you want to talk about accuracy, you're never going to be able to beat uh, the, the Hornady AMAX rounds. This is what the SEALs would run through their bolt action 50 cals. Uh, it's accurate ammo, it's very accurate. Um, I don't really care about accuracy with this gun. If I'm bringing this gun to the fight, I'm hunting Bedouin pickup trucks, Scud missiles, armored cars, something like that. I need to be able to punch a big hole. I need to be able to get through barriers. It is for barrier penetration. So um, what, what we're gonna play with today was I got my hands on an entire can of armor piercing incinerary. Now this is your M8, M8, armor piercing incinerary round. It is a 647 grain projectile. Guys, 647 grains of love right there. Now, it, it comes belted. Uh, it'll have your uh, armor piercing incinerary tracer. 
Okay, that's not what we're playing with today. There's no need for us to have the tracer around here. It, the, the whole thing that, well, you use tracers for lighting gas tanks on fire. Not nah, guys, that's myth, myth buster stuff right there. You wanna light fuel cans on fire, you gotta use incinerate rounds. Huh, I just happen to have a can of them laying around right here. So um, let's have a little fun with this puppy. Um, right off the bat, um, you guys know I love gel blocks. So we've got gel blocks. Uh, we get them from a company called Clear Ballistics. They're not actually FBI edible ballistic gelatin that they ran all the ballistic tests with back in the 70s. This is a polymer block, but the cool part is I can melt them down and reuse them. So anyways, let's, uh, what do you say? We um, toss a 647 grain armor piercing incinerary projectile through our ballistic gel block. Let's give it a shot. M8 armor piercing incinerary. All right, you see we got a nice sexy hole right through the center of our block. It kind of welded the block to the table. Wow, ain't that awesome. I'll turn it sideways here for you guys so you can see it a little bit better. Notice it blew straight through. Now, everybody is ex everybody's wanting the big exploding of the block. That's not what armor piercing incendiary is for. It's designed to penetrate armor and then deliver that incendiary charge on the inside. So if you, you watch, man, slow-mo, we've got a super sexy, secondary cavitation running through this thing. Why? Well, because we just hit this thing with a 50 cal. We pushed a golf ball through this thing. So awesome, uh, definitely lethal if it was to hit somebody, but uh, that's not what that's designed for. It's designed for getting through, penetrating that barrier first. What do you say we find us a barrier? Let's go do a wall. All right, so we built wall facades. You guys have seen them in our other, uh, other videos, you can find our video archive. We hit them with everything. Uh, there's only one hole that's ever made it through this wall. This is our most heavy duty wall. Uh, cinder blocks, uh, concrete blocks, uh, hollowed. Most of them are supposed to be filled by code with uh, poured concrete, rebar, red brick on the front. So uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna build this off. We've got our ballistic gelatin zombie torso on the back here. And what do you do if it just happens to be behind this reinforced brick wall? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate him down. We're gonna have him and line him up. I stood him up on top of these bricks, these ammo cans. My gel torso is ready to go. I think we're all set. What do you say we hit this guy with M8 armor piercing incendiary? I love shooting through walls. I just love this stuff. I am puzzling my pieces of uh, brick back together that I picked up off the ground. Literally, it hit just uh, his left of center exploded out with a next, enough force to shatter this, uh, this block right here. Um, little pieces here and there. If we look at the front of this puppy, you can see where that, that wall just exploded and he's got all kinds of little shards that have just ran all through him. He didn't get that big, big projectile that went through him. Um, no, instead he death by a thousand cuts. This is badass right here. I'm digging that. All right, what about if the guy was inside of a vehicle? Like, um, oh, I don't know, a thin skin vehicle, car door, stuff like that. Let's go try that one. So we found a pickup truck door illegally parked, All right? So we have secured ourselves a pickup door. It's even got the glass down inside. So this not shattered, the glass is fully intact. That's gonna add more resistance. Glass is actually very, uh, works good as armor, it really does. It shatters, it's only good for one round. You're especially good at explosively formed projectiles. Not what we got here. 50 cal M8 armor piercing incendiary. So what we've placed is our rubber mannequin behind it here. We even put a little balloon of Kool-Aid on the back for some added hotness. But uh, yeah, I, I'm hoping I can hit the guy from there. So let's go give it a shot. Through the car door, smile, 
and wait for the flash. So I'm literally still pulling chunks of copper jacket out of this guy where he was hit right in the side here, but the majority of the blast hit this guy right center mass of the chest. If you look on the back of the door, we've got a nice scorch mark where the incinerary material literally lit right here. And uh, you saw in the slow-mo, the fireball it hitting the guy and then our explosion of uh, ketchup and uh, taco sauce going out his back. Um, so okay, it's effective on thin-skinned vehicles, but we got the word armored piercing incendiary. We know the incendiary works. Uh, what about if this was like an armored car? I don't have any illegally parked armored cars, but I've got all kinds of plate steel armor, including I got one of our C-Zone targets. Now these are rifle rated. These are actually rated hotter than uh, a lot of your armored cars are. So what, I'm, what I mean by that is shit that will go through an armored car will not go through this, all right? So um, we'll see, we might get through it, we might not, but there's one way to find out. All right, so we replaced our car door with a sheet of armor. I obviously don't have doors off of an armored car or a Russian uh, armored car, Russian tank, uh, armored personnel carrier, but I have shot up a bunch of Iraqi and, uh, 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 Soviet era stuff in Afghanistan, uh, roughly same stuff. This stuff, this armor is actually stronger. Uh, again, this is a C-zone target. And what we've done is we've still got our rubber target roughly behind him. And uh, this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it's gonna hurt me. We just knocked the snot out of him. All right, I want that to sink in, guys. Now, our explosion was on the front of the door, but our armor-piercing run. Guys, look at how large that hole is. I want you to sink in how big that hole is. All right, um, that's massive. All right, now, so Woodchuck on the other side of the door here, I'm going to turn him so you can see him. All right, deflect this slightly down, but... Full disclosure, I respray painted this before. So all these little marks you see, this is where shit went through sideways, sideways. That would suck. I mean, that would suck to the third power. You understand that's suck times suck times suck. That would really suck. So homeboys are hurting you and it didn't matter where you were inside that armored vehicle. You were gonna eat a chunk of that. Maximum bang bang right there. All right, so. Um, let's go back to the incinerary part of that. What could we use incinerary for? What, why do you even add that to a round like this? It's so that you can incinerate things. Hmm. Let's go do that. All right, so we want to have fun with this. So we're going to do this. It's going to be called the pimble gram. And basically what it is, is we are going to see how many spray paint cans one of these uh, armor piercing incendiary rounds can go through. So uh, that means absolutely nothing. Have I ever had to kill spray paint cans in a combat zone? Never, but for you, Mr. Pimble, we love you. All right, let's see how many we can get through. I'm, because understand, these are fluids. You can compress a gas, you can compress a solid. You can't compress a fluid. So I'm honestly expecting the round to drift left to right. I'm only expecting to get uh, two or three. What do you think, Sue? Six. Six? Five, you know, I, I, I'm going three or four. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Let's go check it out. Action. You wanted your incendiary effect done in a controlled environment by professionals. Do not try this at home. All right. Anyways, this was us having fun with the Barrett 50 Cal. This is the M8 armor piercing incendiary rounds. They're awesome. Are they as accurate or as sexy as Rafa's rounds? No, but uh, they're available at just about every gun show that you go to. Why? America, America, America. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as me and the fire department did. We'll see you guys next time. Be sure to leave the comments below and uh, you know the deal. Y'all take care and shoot straight.
If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.